This guy's definitely playing with fire. Lorente, he can shoot as well, boys. He can shoot as well. I think he's just a beast, box to box, all rounder. What's going on, Les? We're back with another Club Icon Deep Dive review. This time we're taking a look at Marcus Lorente, a beast of a card. A complete box to box midfielder. I'm going to show you the best skills to give him, the best build that I found. And of course, some gameplay to show you exactly how he handles. Let's go. All right, boys, let's get straight into it. A lot of people ask me about box-to-box -box midfielders, and I definitely think you need an all-rounder, a kind of a workhorse. With the way the passing is at the moment, every player can kind of pass with that 80, 80 stat, but I definitely think you need to have him as your one of your most complete players. He can defend, he can pass, he can shoot, he can finish, he can dribble, he can do everything that you could possibly want. And this Lorente is available for the free club icon nominating contract. So you can get him after 15 games. Even if you download the game today, you can get him after 15 matches across any mode. And we're just going to let the clips play out, man, and genuinely look at how he actually influences games. It doesn't matter if you're playing against a super squad. When you, are, when you are able to control the game with a centre midfielder and let the AI make the runs for you, I mean, and, and really be able to pick out the passes, it all comes down to how you train him. Now, you will see that Laurenti's biggest stat is probably, or his, bi his biggest asset is probably his tenacity. This is due to his stats that you're going to see here. So, a lot of people ask me about aggression and they say, does aggression affect when you're running with the ball instead of just being without the ball? And I think that these stats are a little bit outdated. I've talked about this before. We'll do it in another video as well. But stamina, tackling and aggression are really, really, really important for a CMF, especially if you are playing an anchorman. Now, we've already covered Rodri in the other uh, video. If you guys have missed that build, make sure and check it out and check out the Rodri build. But this is essentially what you want from your CMF. You want him to be able to give you an option from deep midfield. So instead of Rodri or instead of your defensive uh, DMF or CMF, if you are playing a CMF that's not a creative, like a slow base passer that's going to be using his passes and his dribbling, then you genuinely do need like a workhorse that covers all areas of the pitch, both offensively and defensively. That doesn't mean that you have to play, you know, um, a defensive player that can't get far with the ball. I mean, you can still do a lot of work with your CMF. And that's where I think that Laurenti really comes into it, especially in a formation like this. Now, obviously, we are playing with our road to glory here. We want Laurenti to be covering this kind of area here, pretty much all of midfield and letting Rodri just slot into between the, C the CBs. If you don't have an anchorman or if you're playing one double uh, or one single DMF or CMF, I don't really recommend Lorente. I mean, he's not, even though his stats are really, really good, his defensive awareness will catch him out a little bit, especially as you go up the ranks. 90% of players are usable until you go for top rank. If you're trying to crack into the top 1,000, you can see his stats here. Tight possession, low pass, acceleration, and kicking power all above 80. You also have the tackling at 86, and this is the build that we've gone for here. 4 into passing, 8 into dribbling, 7 into dex, 5 into lower body, 1 into area strength, and of course 11 into defending. What we want with this build is to complement everything that Rodri does uh, not so good. So being aggressive, chasing the ball, being a crazy guy around midfield, just constantly harassing uh, your opponents and your opponents not being given them a chance on the ball. Um, that 91 aggression is huge as well. But uh, I was finding that with Lorente boys. I don't know about G, but I was finding him coming on to a lot of a, a lot of chances, even though he didn't score a lot of them. Um, I was finding that that could be kind of like complemented by giving him player skills in this. This is the, the positions you want your players to get into. This is a user error from me. We do end up getting the penalty, and that is why he didn't probably slot that home, because the animation had already locked in that he was going to slide tackle me, which meant I was going to be fouled. But yeah, I mean, the positions that he was getting into, the delivery of his balls in, his, his running. Like, watch this. This is all within the same game. This is an unbelievable match that we played against a really, really good, a really, really good opponent. He had a god squad, but watch the delivery of the runs. Like this is it, Lorente, lovely little flick, and watch the run. I'm not doing this, man. This is AI that the that the runs are being made, and it's all about you being able to pass when you need to pass and being able to give it to the right man in the better position at all times. You can see Lorente is making this gameplay so easy for me. His delivery is fantastic. And if I get a bit of luck, I'm going to score the second goal. Again, what a run here from right flank to left flank. Doesn't make a difference. This is a brilliant manual save from a top rank opponent, but I should have slotted that home. Again, it's my fault. And then aggressively, he's just so good without the ball to win the ball back. Obviously, if you have Vieira, Rijkaard, Makalele, Kante, the super guys. But if you're staying free to play, 
You could do a lot worse than having this club icon Laurenti. He's just a menace, man. He's just a pest. Now, we will, as we always do, throw on the skills that we think will be best for this card as well. And you can have him up on screen there. But let me know what you guys think of Laurenti, lads. Is he one of your favorites? Also, check out my other videos. Don't forget to subscribe. We're going to be having some really cool stuff announced soon on the channel. So make sure you're here for the journey. And I will talk to you guys in a little bit.